In this episode, we are going to learn the 10th strategy, the name of the strategy is Covering the Dagger with a Smiler. Welcome to subscribe to the 36 Stratagems channel, comment or send us an email and you will get an ebook about 36 Stratagems on sale. Charm and ingratiate yourself with your enemy when you have gained his trust. Move against him in secret. Note, it is essential to maintain a smiling and friendly demeanor to put others at ease, enabling them to lower their guard. However, behind this pleasant facade, you must be prepared with a secret plan to swiftly defeat the other side. This stratagem appears gentle on the surface but conceals a ruthless intention. There was a prominent individual who outwardly appeared gentle, always wearing a smile while speaking to others. However, beneath this exterior, he was petty, suspicious, and malicious. As a person in power, he expected unwavering obedience from others, and anyone who opposed him would be framed. During that time, people referred to him as having a knife in his smile. The key to executing this stratagem lies in the act of smiling. Laughter must be genuine and natural, maintaining a sense of balance to make the enemy feel at ease and believe they are safe. However, excessive and contrived laughter will raise the other party's suspicions. The purpose behind the smile is to conceal the knife. Regardless of the time or place, the knife must remain hidden within the smile to prevent the stratagem from being exposed. The knife can either be revealed or concealed, but once drawn, it must be swift and decisive. Catching the enemy off guard without allowing them time to react, in the early Qing dynasty of China, there was a man named Wu Sangoe, originally a general of the Ming dynasty. He surrendered to the Qing dynasty after its downfall. However, he later rebelled against the Qing dynasty and became a warlord in southwest China. As his power grew, he became increasingly anxious, knowing that the Qing dynasty would inevitably seek to subdue him. To address this, he devised a stratagem. He instructed his son to surrender to the Qing dynasty and assist in attacking him after the surrender. The stratagem succeeded as the Qing army gradually eroded Wu Sangui's power. However, Wu Sangui seized the opportunity to eliminate the commanding officer of the Qing army and emerged victorious. Using the stratagem of covering the dagger with a smile, we should tailor our approach based on the characteristics of enemy commanders for those who are arrogant. We should amplify their arrogance. Conversely, for those who are fearful, we should display sincerity and create an atmosphere that relaxes their vigilance. While appearing relaxed on the surface, we must actively prepare and seek opportunities to launch a sudden and decisive attack. This stratagem relies on the concept of offering honey while concealing a sword. Our words should be sweeter than honey, but our intent must hold a deadly blade. We may humble ourselves and act obediently, showing apparent sincerity and adhering to others' wishes. However, underneath this facade lies a different motive, ready to take action and achieve our objectives through deceitful means. In modern business activities, hiding a knife in a smile is also a commonly used tactic by operators during negotiations with opponents. Operators may present themselves as gentle, humble, and generous, all while wearing a smile smile, however, beneath this courteous demeanor, some operators may possess narrow-mindedness, an inclination for suspicion, or even sinister and vicious intentions. The purpose of this stratagem is to manipulate opponents into compliance, leading them into the trap designed by the operator, ultimately achieving their true objective of gaining wealth. In the next episode, we will start the 11th strategy, if you want to listen. Please subscribe to this channel and you won't get lost.